Afternoon. It is 12:30 p.m. I am out here with my buddy Dan, right over there. Guy with the straw hat, way back there. We're out here in the middle of low tide. The switch already happened around 10 a.m. I'm not sure, but we are waiting for Vino to get out here. So right now, I am going to get rigged up. I'm gonna throw some irons real quick, knock this skunk out, and hopefully catch a monster macro. All right, stay tuned. Ready to catch that monster mac. Any bites on that? There we go. Got him. Oh, dude, it's a big one. It's a big one. It's a good one. He's peeling. No, I'm serious. He's peeling. I think it's a bony. It's a bony. It's a bony. Yeah. Woo! There we go, boys. Towel's done. Got him. <laughs> there we go five first bony of the year these guys have teeth <laughs> that's what we're after last week oh, i was like wait wait it just starts <laughs> go thank you Woo! there you go doc hold on real <laughs> quick boy First bay bony of the year. Calm down, calm down. Right there. Swallowed that jig para. Hell yeah, dude. Very Fuck nice. yeah. Oh, then should, should I record? Should I record? Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Totally worth it. That's it right there, guys. First bony of the year. Right there, guys. Beautiful thing. First bay bonita. This is the true bay tuna right here. The true bay tuna, guys. Super stuck, finally got one. We've been chasing these guys for the past week and a half, two weeks. We've, we've been getting hits on them. But today, that was super random, dude. Pink lure, totally worth it. Well, Dan's gonna take this guy home. I know he's small, but for the bay, and we haven't had bonito in a while here in the water, so we may as well. Give it to Dan to eat. I already ripped his gill. Yeah, he's gonna be eating. <laughs> All right, man, let's get this guy unhooked and bled out. There you go. Bleed him out. Yeah. You're gonna have to. Oh, bam. Right there. Cool. Totally worth it, though. Yes. There you go. Here we go. Not really Using the Cobra Pro Weld. I picked this up at Fred Hall. I learned about this product from uh, one of Vino's friends. So while they're fishing, I'm gonna do a quick video real quick. All right, here's a perfect example. 
You see how that bait is split. This Kitech is split right there. Look at that. It's completely split. So what this pen does, when you press that green button, it heats up this rod. You can see, I don't know if you can see smoke coming out right there. So what you do is once you heat it up, you hold it, uh, you press it and keep pressure on it and start melting uh, where, you know, where the bait's damaged. And once it melts, push the bait together and it'll just glue together or bend together. So you keep doing it until you're, you're pretty um, satisfied. You usually get it all up in there and push it together real fast. Real fast. It might not look pretty, but it works. But if you have like a jig head that goes straight into the middle of the head of the bait, you usually just stick this in, stick this rod in the pro weld in, heat it up, move it around, pull it out real fast, and pinch, uh, pinch the head of the the bait and it'll just mend together or weld i used to use mend it but mend it was super difficult you have to take it's like a nail polish thing you have to wipe on the uh, the compound or whatever it is onto the bait and hold it together until it melts together and while this is ran on double a battery i think it runs on one two double a batteries see there's a split right here i'm not sure if you can see that so i'm Melt that real quick. Push it together. Boom. Not good as new, but good enough. Right there. Perfect. Let me grab a jig head and put the jig head on to show you guys what I mean. You can repair split tails and whatnot too. Like if the tail's cut off and you have the other piece, melt them, hold them together. But then again, that would be a waste of time. So here's the repaired tech that I um, welded the top the head back together when it was split so let's see how it holds all right go in split it out boom right there tug it on I'm giving it a good tug too it's not coming off so out the door it was like 35 bucks at Fred Hall. Don Iovino carries them. So if you guys are going to Fred Hall this year or next year, or you can find it somewhere, it's Cobra Pro Weld. Shout out to Nate, Vino's boy right, right over here for uh, plugging me up with this. If I knew about this, man, I, I would have saved so much money on all these Kitex that I've been throwing out that has just like small rips in them and I can't, it won't stand under, you know, the jig head. So what I do is once, if I come with a pack of Kitex, and I run through the whole pack and they're all damaged but not completely destroyed I would throw them in my jar I don't feel like repairing them on the spot I'll start you know changing to different baits unless I'm the bites really on for the specific bait then I'll repair them on the spot but what I usually do is keep them in a jar and when I get home get everything cleaned up sit at my table or sit outside my yard or somewhere under a box who knows get up in there pour all my baits out line up which ones I need to repair bust out the pro weld and uh, get to welding and there you go it's good as it's good enough it's not good as new but it's good enough it keeps your bait intact so here we go let's do it again so let me show let me split this cut this open real quick let's tear it with my bare hands boom split that guy right open right there let's see if the camera focuses on it for you guys it's got that split open boom bust out the rod Heat it up, start melting it, Melt, melting the incision, and push it together. Pow, 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 damn, look at that. Still, you know, give it some time. You don't, you don't want to just weld it real quick and slap a bait on. But every bait uses different, uh, different material or different, you know, substance or whatever you guys want to call it. What would you call that? Material. Different materials to make their bait like z-man you can't put z-man plastics with other plastics because they'll melt in the bag because of the the compound they use the ingredients they use that isn't isn't friendly with any other baits so what at that just to make sure of it where the hook goes directly into the head of the bait i usually melt right down the middle push it together make sure it's nice and good 
Give me some time to dry real quick. Oh, right there. So, we get this jig head I was using earlier. Let's do a uh, product testing. Right down the middle, run it through, out the top. See? See some money. If it starts sliding off, like if you actually tell it to start sliding off, go back, re weld it again, or re melt it, whatever. Get all up in it. It saves you a lot of money. These packs of Kitek are about seven bucks a piece, a bag. So if you think about think about the money you're saving. It's Cobra Professional Pro Weld, original plastic welding tool. It says it right there. Good product, good investment. So check them out once uh, if you guys ever get a chance. I haven't. I don't even know if they're online, but I know a Fred Hall show Donnie Ovino of Major Craft carries them. All right, that's the bait. Remember, it doesn't make your bait look perfect. It makes your bait usable again. Pop it right through, just so. Snap it in. Boom, 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 boom. Wow. Boom. Done. See? I'm pulling on it. It's good. It's good to go. So that's Pro Weld, and I hope. You guys, you know, think about investing into one of those. Mended is good too. I recommend Mended, but Mended takes uh, takes some time. You actually have to sit down with it. People use super glue. People use whatever the hell they want to use. But whatever works, works. And yeah. Let's get back to uh, these guys over here. So, Pino, yes. how's your day? It's all right. It's all right? It's all right. What about you, guy? Beautiful day. Beautiful day. Good day in paradise. Good day in paradise. <laughs> and that brings it back. First Bonita of the year. So, first Bonita on the Jigpara Micro Slow. That thing is 10 grams, pink and white. I'm super excited for that one. What, we've been hunting for them last week, two days in a row. We had a couple, they had a couple strikes, a couple blow up on them over at a uh, dis disclosed location. And so we come here, first five minutes, hoping to catch a giant macro. Ended up catching a bay bonito, a bay tuna, whatever you guys want to call it. AKA a giant macro. AKA a giant macro. And did I say that right to, I said that earlier, huh, right when uh, we got here. I was like, I'm gonna try to catch a giant macro. Bonito bites my thing. Same thing. Yep, same difference. And I did the initial review and tutorial of how to use the pro weld. That's a very, very good investment. You guys should check that out. Don Iovino carries him. The legendary finesse king. Major, uh, I think he's uh, he's with Major Craft. So check him out at Fred Hall online, whatever. I know for a fact, if you guys ever ran into Don Iovino at Fred Hall, he doesn't give you a DVD. He gives you he gives you a VHS cassette to watch. You ever had that? Yeah, I got one too. I got two. <laughs> and he gives you a book, so, right? I have the book. I read through the book. I learned a lot from uh, his book, his tutorials, his everything. Everything in that book, steps on how to finesse fish, drop shot, shaky head, all that good stuff is in that book. So you guys get a chance, get that book, or look it up online, or talk to the man himself at Fred Hall. He will guide you guys through it. But that pro well thing is a very, very good, good investment. So uh, try it out. If you guys ever get a chance, pick one up. If you guys are using mended, crazy glue, whatever, those work too, don't get me wrong. But I just don't have the patience to sit there with two baits separated in my hands, pushing them together and waiting for them to dry while the pro weld just melts the bait right then and there and you just hold it together real quick, blow on it, sit aside, then it'll just become one piece again. But other than that, we got a couple, couple uh, fishing ideas and trips coming up. A lot of stuff, bat ray, shark fishing, everything. Same stuff we always talk about, but it's just very, very hard to find time to do. All right, but that, that enough rambling. But until next time, guys, my hand is filled with bonito scales. Until next time, good fishing. Catch you guys in the next video. Peace.